whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Those no, that my redeemer liveth, that he shall stand at the level day upon the earth. But my skin worm destroy this body yet in my flesh. Shall I see from? When I shall see for myself, when I shall be I don't know. My rings be consumed with it. For we brought nothing in its world. And it's certain that we can carry nothing on. Keep him in perfect peace. His mind is stayed on thee because he trusts in thee. He has many burdens upon the Lord and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid for the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. He also has become my salvation. And he said unto them, why are you so fearful, O ye of little faith. Then there rose every big the wind and the sea, and there was a great calm. For thus saith the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, in quietness and in confidence shall be your strength. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world give it, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. For I am in a street betwixt you, having a desire to depart and to be with Christ, which is far better. The church say amen. Amen. We have come, amen, at this hour to celebrate the life and the extraordinary life, should I say, of one who loved God, who loved God's people, who loved God's church, Mother Leone, Lee Austin. And can we, before we take our seats, can we just give God a hand of praise for the marvelous things that he has already done. Amen. The old saints used to say, God is great and he's greatly to be praised. Amen. One hundred and four years. You got my mic on back there. Yeah. I thought I said 104 yeah. years. Yeah. You know, the years of promise, the word of God, the years of promise is 70 years, three scores and 10, and it's by reason for strength. 
four scores. But Mother here have done five scores and four. Yeah. Amen. 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 We have come to undergird this family and to celebrate what the Lord has done. Most of you should have a program, amen, and uh, we will try to follow the program as best we can. But you do know that the Holy Spirit has free recourse in this house. Amen. Yes. Amen. We are subject to the move of God at any time. Yes. Amen. amen. So if you want to give God a praise, yes. go ahead. Hallelujah. If you want to tell God thank you, go ahead. If you want to shout, hallelujah, how many know that all of that? Is in order. Yes. Amen. Amen. As we are getting ready, we will have an opening selection by the Austin Chapel Mass Choir. Scripture reading will be by Old Testament Minister Tony Wicker, New Testament Minister Curtis Dean McCrimmon. We'll come back with the crowd comment by Elder Nettie Reeves at that time. Amen. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord.
So I was telling Pastor that I didn't want to do the same old ordinary scripture for mother because we know that mother was no ordinary woman. And I'm going to share a quick little story with you and I also know where I'm going. <laughs> this is when Clara was on by. It went by to pick. Clara up, we were going out to eat. And I said, hey, mother. She said, well, hey. I said, you don't know who I am. No. I said, I'm Tony. Well, you done got so big, I didn't recognize you. And poor Austin, he said, Grandma! <laughs> he was so caught off guard because, as we know, mother was a quiet woman. But when she had something to say, you needed to listen. I guess I didn't listen hard enough because I still ain't got that weight off. But y'all pray for me. We're going to be looking at Psalms 63, verses 1 through 7. Oh God, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee. My flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is to see thy power and thy glory so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary because thy loving kindness is better than life my lips shall praise thee thus will I bless thee while I live I will lift my hands in thy name my soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips when I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches because thou has been my help. Therefore, in the shadow of thy wings, I will rejoice. Amen. Amen. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, mm -hmm. concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. But if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, them also which are asleep in Jesus will God bring with him. But this we say unto you, by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive, remain, shall be caught up together, Hallelujah. With them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Praise the Lord. And, to, and so shall we ever, hallelujah, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Yeah. Wherefore, comfort ye another with these words. This is the word of the Lord for his people. Take comfort in them that we shall all be caught up one day to meet him in the air. And that we where we will be together forever. Praise Let us pray. Our Father and our God, it is with a grateful heart that we come before your presence this afternoon to give you thanks. We praise you because you are God and you are God alone. There is no one like you. We can search this world over. We'll never find anybody like you. So God, on this afternoon, 
we can't help but say thank you for your many blessings that you have bestowed upon this family. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you for the mother, thank you, Lord Jesus, that she has been unto them. We thank you for, thank you, Lord Jesus, her example that she lived before them. We thank you that when we were hungry, she fed us. When we were thirsty, she gave us something to drink. We thank you that she lived the life, God. And we thank you, Father God, that this family will go from this day forth remembering, God, what a jewel they had for a mother. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your grace, your amazing grace that you have given unto her. Unmerited favor. We thank you, Lord. Now help them in the days ahead to take courage, God, and to remember the legacy that she left. To remember the words of many see but few know. Help them to remember, God, thank you, Lord Jesus, her soft way, God, and her soft word. Help them to remember, God, that she mistreated no one. Help them to remember, God, thank you, Lord Jesus, that she loved you and she gave her life to you. Help them to remember, God, thank you, Lord Jesus, that you took care of her, God, all the days of her life. She went through trials and tribulations, but yet you were there, God, and she lived a life before them to love you, God, and to cherish you. So help them to take courage and to know, God, thank you, Lord Jesus, that she's resting in your arm, God. And that one day, God, they, thank you, Lord Jesus, if they live right, God, if they pattern their lives after her, God, that they will see her yet again, God. But until then, God, help them to live the life, God. Until then, God, help them to rejoice, God, knowing, God, thank you, Lord Jesus, that she gave her all to you, God. So, God, I praise you, God, for the life that she lived toward me, God, and how, God, she blessed me in a miraculous way, God. So, God, I thank you for, the, for what you've done, God, through her life, God. May it speak through them, God. May they take up the legacy, God, and run with it, God, in the name of Jesus. Bless this family, God. Encourage everyone, God. And God, help them to know, God, you said in your word, I'll never leave you, nor will I forsake you, but I'll be with you until the end. So, God, may they feel comforted this time for God. In the name of Jesus, comfort their heart. Dry their tears in the days ahead, God, because, God, you have done what you said you would do, God. You have received her unto yourself, God. To God, we praise you and we give you glory and we give you honor as we celebrate my aunt, Leomi Austin, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen.
is Jesus knows all about us. And yet he still chose to love us. There are some people that know some stuff about you. I'm going to leave it right there. I ain't going to mess with it. Miss Tuma looking at me. I ain't going to mess with it. I'm going to leave it right there. But there are some people who walk away from you when they find out about you. But Jesus knows all about us. He will guide us till the day is done. Come on, y'all. Let's give the Lord a hand of praise. We hope you come to our celebration. Certainly, thank you, Father, and you, man, and those who have read scriptures. We have remarks now, uh, and the family has asked uh, two minutes. I don't have to say anything about that because we know what two minutes uh, did. 120 seconds. <laughs> we know what they are. And so we're going to be obedient, amen, to what we are being asked to do. Our representative from the church will be the chairman of our deacon ministry, Deacon Timothy Stur Skirlock. And then we have uh, Brother Curly Austin. Now, Brother Austin, if you don't feel like coming to that polling, me, I can get you a mic. You can, okay. We have those in, in that order. Amen. Amen. To also the family, on behalf of Elder Powell and also the church family, this time will be a sad time, but we look at the picture I that we had there. Y'all may miss her, but we may miss her too. There's times when you can look and just see her as that. She was quiet. She didn't say too much. But when she spoke, you listened to her. Uh -huh. No matter where you was at, she never said too much. But when she looked up and said something, we stopped. And this is what she had to say. And times I went to visit before, I uh, talked to Clara sometimes. She would sit there, she would get up and look, and she said, Clara? That's all she said, that was as loud as she was. Clara knew to come down. And she was that type of person. Her spirit still lived with us now. Because of that spirit she had, it was a quiet, easy going, loving spirit. And we in this church still miss her family in the days to come. She lived up ahead of the great great child you had in your family. She was a great lady. She was a quiet lady, but she showed the God in her life and everywhere things she did. And we'll be praying for you from the church, okay? Amen. First of all, I'd say good afternoon. Good afternoon. Pastor, I'm not used to talking to the side of the audience, but I will obey all rules and regulations. I do want to say, also, I won't be able to meet your two-minute requirement. I will do the best I can. Because I do have a few things I want to say that will not fall in that category. I know that the grass will wither, the flowers will fade, but the word of our God will last forever. Amen. What do you say about someone who has done every one thing in the world Providing with everything that was available to make you become a good person. That was my mother. Mother, we think you did a good job. I personally want to thank everyone for being here today. If you see me with my head down, I'm not always crying. Most of the time I'm praying. And I'm thanking God for his grace and mercy 
for the good things that he has done for me and my family. God, thank you for giving my mother 104 years and 89 days of grace and mercy. And God, I know, time after time, we had to ask for it. We had to ask for mercy, and you always came through. I know what my family has been through. I know what my mother has been through. But you brought us through, Lord. And I, again, I just want to say thank you. Got some bad fingers. Operation I had to have once upon a time. I want to extend my deepest sympathy and condolences to my family, to our extended family and friends. My mother was a proud, and she was very proud of soldiers. You see, she had three brothers that were in the military. Benjamin, Hazel, and Cole. They were my heroes. Two of them are buried here. So I was definitely going to have to become a soldier. Because my mother loved soldiers. The day I left to join the Army, the recruiter came to get me. My mother was standing beside me or behind me as I put my stuff in the car. When I looked back to get my last hug and kiss for a while, she had disappeared. That's the first time that she had ever turned her back on me. And I understand. It's hard to see a son go. Especially a good son. <coughs> <laughs> Mother never told me what to do, and she never told me what I couldn't do. As a little boy, she allowed me to just do what I wanted to do. And that was a good thing, because I always did the right things, thank God. When I got ready to go on like Friday evening, she would say, do you have any money? And I said, no ma'am. She said, no problem. She had a bank right here. <laughs> and she would roll me out that dollar. <laughs> She took care of me. Today I'm blessed because of my pastor's year, Pastor Stackhouse. And I'm sure there are many other pastors in the audience. Thank you all for coming. Thank all my deacon friends for coming. Thank all of you for coming. I want to thank everybody who is somebody. Thank you for coming. You've been good to us. We appreciate it so much. Also, my daughter's year, her son, my son, and his son, all of my family's year, thank God. Thank you all for coming. Thank you so much. And I also want to thank my brothers for all they've done for my mother over the years. It's been a task, but you performed it well. I did the best I could, but you did it all. For you and your families, I want to give you a big hand. Please give them a hand. Many of my military friends are here also. Would you stand, military? Would you stand? They are here because we have a system. It's called the buddy system. And many of us have stood on the FEMA, the far edge of the battle area, defending our country. The few you saw stand, there's in excess of 200 years of military service guarding our country. And we thank you all for the opportunity to be a member of the armed services. Thank you. One gentleman here, he's been with me and I've been with him for over 50 years. Come here, Sergeant Major Kathy. Are you here? Please stand. Now, he's only 91 years old. I've taken care of him. I mean, he's taken care of me for the last 50 years. 91, and he does so well. He does three miles every morning, whether he needs to or not. Good man.
Just remember, we all should be about deeds and not words. Mother was slightly ahead of her time. She wanted her kids to do good. And Tracy Chapman says it best. Get out of here. Get yourself a job. Get out of here. She wanted us to get out of here and go to work. Be somebody. Be a good citizen for your community. And she taught us well how to do that. In the end, if you do well, she wanted you not to apologize for your compliments, for your accomplishments. If you work hard, you deserve what you have. We were on a hill one day, and we were chopping cotton, which we did. We did cotton, tobacco, corn. We did it all. Me and my mother, Ernest and Jean, they're young kids. They know nothing about this type of stuff. <laughs> but it was me and my mother. And we were on a hill one day chopping, and uh, the car goes by. Back then, there were very few cars. One came every night and then. And one goes by and she says, Junior. I said, yes, ma'am. She said, do you want one of those? I said, yes, ma'am. And I figured she's going to reach in. <laughs> and she didn't reach in. She said, you got to work hard and you can get one. <laughs> but that was a paradigm moment. I knew then that you got to do better. you got to get a good job to get ahead. She knew that. But at 16 years old, as poor as we were, they gave me a car. A little 49 Ford two-seater. It was very expensive. It cost $50. <laughs> but it was a nice car. It got me around for a long time. We learned to live a lifestyle of total respect for your elders, strangers, families, and friends. We were going to go to church. There was no doubt about that. You were going to church. Therefore, we received biblical training and words of lesson about God and country. Mother was so kind. She was proud of us. She could not understand why her boys all had hazardous jobs. Jean drove a gas truck. <laughs> Ernest worked on power lines. I jumped out of airplanes. <laughs> she just couldn't understand how we did that to ourselves. But it was all good. We knew what we were doing, and God brought us through. God gave us the best mother that he had on that special day. That is my biased opinion. She did us very well. She gave us confidence, willpower, the desire to excel, be the solution, not the problem. She led us by example, and God gave her 100 four years and 89 days. And again, thank you God for what you did for us and our mother. Amen. Mother has now joined our father and our sisters. Her job here is done. She did very well. Regardless of what was going on in her life, she still took care of her family. She was saying, regardless of what the situation was, I will not complain. Mm -hmm. She won many blue ribbons with her flowers at the state fair, at the, at the county fair. She would do her, if she was doing it only for her satisfaction, she really didn't want you to know she was doing it because she did not want any type of honors or fame. All I can say is, God did us good. We're so proud of our mother and what she was able to help us to accomplish. We were blessed. God's been good to us. He's still good to us. And I want to thank you all for taking your special time this afternoon to come out and spend some time with us. We love you. We will never get over you. And just know if there's anything that we can do, please just call us. If we can't do it, we probably know someone who can help you. We've been blessed. Again, thank you. Thank you. And Reverend Powell, Pastor Apostle Powell, thank you for this opportunity. We love you too. Amen. Amen. Let's give Brother Prell another hand. Time we have the acknowledgement.
Prince and the obituary, Deacon Emerson. Okay. And then we have a selection by Dr. Allison A. Austin, and then the message from the Lord. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. To God be the glory. Amen. To God be the glory. My heart is sad, but there's rejoicing within. The family would like to acknowledge and thank you for all that you've done during their loss. The number of cards was so great that they have selected just a few for us to read at this time, but they certainly will be Look into those for their encouragement in the days ahead. May God comfort you. We, the staff of Quality Life, Home Care Incorporated, want to express sympathy for your loss. We don't want the words to express how sorry, we want the words to express how sorry we have felt, but we do have the love to express that is so much care that we have, keeping you all in our thoughts and prayers. The quality care team, Barbara Johnson. God's love is a perfect love and a caring love and a lasting love. The Austin Chapel Church family, Pastor Jerry Powell. Because we care, a message to comfort you. Horton High School, class of 1964. A letter of comfort to the family and friends of Mother Leomi Lee Austin. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior. The Clearview Missionary Baptist Church family is deeply saddened to hear of the transitioning of your beloved mother, Leomi Lee Austin. We extend our love and join in fervent prayer and condolences to the Austin family as we celebrate the life of our beloved sister in Christ. We agree, we agree that Mother Leomi Austin is absent from her physical body but is now in the presence of the living God and according to his promise, rejoicing that she will suffer no more, nor shed any tears, we pray furthermore that the words within Matthew 5 and 4 will bring you more comfort during your days ahead. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. There are no words at this moment to abide your pain. However, we decree and declare that God of all comfort shall continually keep you in his peace. She fought a good fight and she kept the faith. Therefore, we mourn her absence in our souls, but yet we sustainlessly rejoice in spirit. We will, we will glory with glory, honor, and praise to Almighty God for the presence of the gift of Mother Austin. We celebrate the performance of God's word as which he declares, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he is dead, yet shall live, and whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. So as she was faithful servant of God and a friend to the community, Mother Austin lived her life well to the glory of God and we are grateful that now she awaits to hear the words of the Almighty. Well done, thy good and faithful servant. Please be reminded that Psalms 116 and 15 declares, Precious in the sight of the Lord, the death of his saints. God cares deeply about the death of Mother Austin. We pray that God's blessing be upon the entire Austin family, especially during the season of transition. Great, gracefully know that we are here and we will be there if there are needs from the family of Christ.
do not hesitate to reach out to me, Pastor and Co-Pastor Bobby Wright, Pastor Reginald T. Wright and Bobby T. Wright, the Clear View Missionary Baptist Church. Letter of Resolution, Austin Chapel United Holy Church of America, Incorporated, Elder Jerry W. Powell, Pastor. The Resolution of Respect in the Loving member, Memory of Mother Leomi Austin. Life is but a stopping place. A pause is what to be. A resting place along the roads to sweet eternity. We will have different journeys, different paths along the way. We were meant to learn some things, but never meant to stay. Our destination is a place for greater than we know. For some, the journey is quicker. For some, the journey is slow. And when the journey finally ends, we'll claim a great reward and find an everlasting peace to, together with the Lord. Whereas on Wednesday, August the 16th, 2023, the Lord Almighty, with all sovereignty and infinite wisdom, saw fit to take Mother Leomi Austin to receive the, her reward in heaven. And whereas Mother Austin was the daughter of the late Haywood and Lila Lee, she married the late Curly Austin Sr. and their union, five children were born. Ella Mae, Pearlie Jr., Jean, Clara, and Ernest. Whereas Mother Leomi accepted the Lord during her youth and was a faithful member of Austin Chapel United Holy Church, traveling with Mitchell's Austin Chapel Bible Band in the earlier days of the church, as well as serving in the senior choir and other auxiliaries. Whereas Mother Austin was given a distinct honor of Mother of the Church at Austin Chapel in May 2019 for the years she served as mother in the ch as to children of this community, keeping a watchful eye on the neighborhood kids when others' parents wasn't around and reporting back information if necessary if anyone happened to get out of line. Her porch served as a shelter for children waiting for the bus. <laughs> and in those rainy days, it was a rumor that she had made some children's raincoats out of plastics from the dry cleaners. It's no rumor, I was one of the recipients of the raincoats. <laughs> Whereas Mother Leomi had given heart, had, whereas Mother Leoma had a giving heart, she was the type that didn't just say thank you for kind gestures, but she would slip you a little piece of money along with it. She was soft-spoken, had a sweet, quiet spirit. So we find it so befitting that the Lord called her in the same manner that she lived sweet and quiet. Thank you, God. Therefore, it is resolved that we bow in humble submission to him who never make a mistake. We extend words of encouragement to the family in their time of sorrow, though the thought of continuing with her, without her physical presence may sadden our hearts. We are comforted by the scripture in John 14 that reads, Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it was not so, I would not have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if you go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you upon myself. That's where I am and that ye be also. 
Be it further resolved, we will continue to pray for the family as they adjust to the physical absence of Mother Austin, while also celebrating such a well-lived life and thanking God for sharing a beautiful soul with us for over 104 years. Amen. Amen. Be it finally resolved that a copy of the resolution will be given to the family and a copy will be kept in Austin's chapel archives. Respectfully submitted on this day, 23rd day of August, 2023 on behalf of Elder Jerry W. Powell and the Austin Chapel Church family. To God be the glory. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. We are so blessed, so blessed to be able to have such a wonderful mother in our midst. The family would like to say thank you and they appreciate and, and so grateful for all your prayers, your cards, and you will always remember what you've done for them during this time. Thank you. Just gonna get up here and just sing. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to say that uh, thank you, Austin Chapel, uh, for being a, a second home for me. A lot of times, my grandmother would come to revival, I would get dropped off with her, and I enjoyed it because I sat up here with Miss Franco. We did uh, testimony service, so every time the doors were open and my grandmother came, I came with her. So my love for singing. It was basically, it came from her and along with my mother, but um, I just wanted to say thank you. So it's only befitting I sing for her um, on her way home. I've had some good days. I've had some hills to climb.
So I'll just say, thank you, Lord. I'll just say, thank you, Lord.
1 Corinthians 15, 19, Paul says it like this. Paul says, if in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. But now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. Paul picks it up, verse 51 in the same chapter, Paul says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trump shall sound. The dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. I believe I'll start right there. If in this life, mm -hmm. only we have them. in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. I'm going to talk for a few minutes from the subject, hope beyond this life. Hope beyond this life. It had been said so genuinely that uh, Mother Austin was uh, not only uh, a pleasant woman uh, to be around and to deal with, and you would often uh, say to yourself, uh, what do you do with this, or what can you say to this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When one has lived an extraordinary life. Well, there, there, there is a question. There, there's a question, ladies and gentlemen, that's found in the book of Proverbs, the 31st chapter, somewhere, I believe, right around verse 10. The question is asked, who can find a virtuous woman? Says that for her price is far above rubies. You know, ladies and gentlemen, that Rubies are frequently the most expensive colored stone on the market. You do know that. Mother Austin, on the other hand, she epitomizes the character of a virtuous woman. Mm -hmm. For her price was far beyond rubies. And I'm told, hey amen, I've talked with Burr Ernest a little bit and I received a text, hey amen, and and I'm told that Mother Austin, she, she took what she had and made it work. She took what she had and she made it work to provide and to comfort and to care for her family. She is described by uh, son, Pearly Jr., as a businesswoman. Mm -hmm. Y'all thought she was just quiet. She, she, Mother Austin, was, was a businesswoman who back in the day used a washing machine to earn three dollars a week. Uh huh. And then I'm told that she sold vegetables at, at a supermarket called Gaines Supermarket. Uh huh. Not only did she know how to make money, but she knew how to use it. Cause I'm all so told that she always had a few dollars to keep her children clean, keep them dressed up and proud. All right, all right. If anybody know her children, if anybody see her children, amen. amen. You know they're always dressed to the nine and always proud. Amen. 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 And so, and so, uh, not only did I hear from Brother Prudder, but I also heard from uh, Brother Ernest and. And Brother Ernest said, not only was she a businesswoman, El Powell, but I believe that mother was an inventor. All right. Huh? All right. See, see, when you live 140 years, you learn how to do some things. He said, he said, Brother Ernest said, long before there were uh, those small pieces of chewing gum, y'all remember? Those, those little small pieces of chewing up called chicklets. Y'all remember those? He said long before there were ever chicklets that 
mother would take a stick of chewing gum and break it off into pieces so that every one of them kids could have a piece of mother was the first inventor of chickens. Amen. Uh, you guys might want to check and get some royalty off of that cost. Amen. She, she knew how to make it last. She knew how to satisfy her family. Uh huh. Not only that, not only that, and I'm going to the text, but not only that, but, 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 but you have to understand that you just can't rush through 104 years. Uh huh. See, mother, mother, mother also, watch this, mother also had her own version uh -huh, of what is now called chicken nuggets. she had her own version of chicken nuggets uh, because long before it was ever on a restaurant menu uh, uh, it went, even when one child and because she had uh, at least uh, several children and, and when one child wanted the chicken breast I'm told that mother would take the chicken breast and cut it into nuggets and all the kids would have piece of the chicken breasts. Amen. She died and among them all so that all wouldn't be said. Isn't that just like a mother? To make sure that every child felt like he or she was somebody. To make sure that our children knew that they were loved and, and endeared, amen, and cared for. That was Mother Austin. Not only did she treat her own children like that, but Mother Austin would treat you like that. Whenever you came into a house, I can remember when uh, Sister Cloud was living and I, I would stop by and see her. And, uh, you know, on one occasion, because uh, I never seen Mother Austin cook, and I'm sure she could, but I, I've never seen her cook. On one occasion when I came to see her, uh, uh, she asked me, did I want anything to eat? And when she did it, you know how quiet she was. She said, Pastor, uh, uh, would, you, would, would you care for uh, some dinner? Uh, and I said, well, sure, Mother. And the next thing she said was, now, I didn't cook clarity. <laughs> she, she, was, she was giving me forewarning. But my point is that whatever she had, she offered it to you. Uh-huh. Not only church was... Mother Austin, a virtuous woman, and a mentor or a provider, she was a woman of faith. Yeah. Uh -huh. Mother Austin, she was a woman of faith who had hope. And she had that, what is called Hebrews 11 and 1 faith. Uh -huh. She had that Hebrews 11 and faith that transcended into hope. It would say it's now faith is the substance of things hoped for yeah, yeah. and the evidence of things not seen. In other words, ladies and gentlemen, Mother Austin believed that God would make a way somehow. And I hope to have some witnesses in this church today that would declare it doesn't matter whatever I'm going through, I serve a God who will make a way out of nowhere. Do I have any witnesses in the church today? Did Mother had that Hebrews 11 and 1 faith, Mother had that 2 Thessalonians 2 and 16 faith that says, Now our Lord Jesus Christ Himself and God, even our Father, which have loved us and have given us everlasting consolation, watch this, and a good hope. In about every spirit, a good hope from God. Uh huh. In other words, it doesn't matter what's going on in my life. My confidence is still in God. And I've got a good hope. Uh -huh. It said a good hope through grace. In other words, she understood that time is filled with swift transition. Not on earth a new can stand. Build your hope on things eternal and hold to God's unchanging hand. It is here then, in 1 Corinthians 15 and 19. Well, well. It is here that we see the Apostle Paul, 
I heard all of us are familiar with Paul. Paul, I would say, uh, was a uh, not only a good orator of the word of God, but he was a prolific preacher and speaker. Paul had a way of drawing you into the scriptures. Paul here, amen, he would speak to the believers at Corinth. Yeah. He would speak to them concerning hope beyond this life. Yeah. Uh -huh. Paul, Paul says, in fact, he says it in our opening text, Paul says that if in this life, uh -huh, if, if, if all you think about is the here and now, Paul says you're missing it. Paul says it's more to life than what you see. So Paul says that if in this life that we only have hope, we are of all men most miserable. Got to understand, ladies and gentlemen, and I hasten on that the Corinthians, like us, right. uh -huh, had a hard time getting their minds around the concept of the resurrection. Uh huh. Yeah. They thought not of a resurrection that involved the entire body, spirit, and person alike being raised from the dead, but rather at death that the body simply would decay and life was over. Uh -huh. But ladies and gentlemen, this same Paul, uh -huh, with some 32 verses later, it is here that Paul reminds us, yes, of hope beyond this life. Paul says, Behold, I show you a mystery that we shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. Paul says, This won't happen in the here, in the by, in by, but Paul says, It'll happen in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye. Here it is at the last trump. Uh -huh. For the trump will sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall all be changed. I'm going to know today that there is hope beyond this life. That's how Mother Austin lived her life. She reminded me of John the Revelator when he said, and I saw I saw a new heaven and I saw a new earth. Uh, you got to know that Mother saw something different. She understood it was her time to leave here. She said, I saw something different. I saw something better. I saw that God had a place prepared for me. And now he has come back to receive me. That where he is, there would I be also. But I got hope beyond this life. Ladies and gentlemen, we are saved by the same hope. We are saved by hope. But hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man see it, why does he have hope? But if we hope for what we see not, then we do with patience wait for it. Look at somebody and say, wait for it. Because it's coming. Amen. How many know that life is short? Death is sure. Sin is a curse, but Christ is the cure. All you got to do is wait on it. God will come see about you. And that's what he did. The other day, he decided that Mother Austin had done her job. He decided that her time was always up. And I'm so glad. I said I'm so glad to have had the opportunity, amen, to serve her. I'm so glad to know that she's gone home to be with the Lord. I'm closing right here, brother, when the Bible says, So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. Can I just pause? parenthetically and tell somebody that the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Somebody ought to give God a hand of prayer. Yes, sir. Uh, what do you mean, Pastor? The question is asked here. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God. I said, thanks be to God, which gives us the victory through Christ Jesus. 
I don't know how you feel about it. Come on, brother. Catch up with me. I don't know how you feel about it today, but he's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to give honor. What do you do, ladies and gentlemen, when God has given you 104 years old? I'm so glad. I said I'm so glad that she's gone on. It's, it's good night down here, but it's good morning up there. She fought a good fight. She kept the faith. She finished the tour. And now there is a crown that is laid up for her. And not for her only, but them who love his appearance. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, there is hope. Yes, there is hope beyond this life. Young people live so you can live again. Love so you can live again. Worship so you can live again. Serve so you can live again. Somebody give God a hand of praise here. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, because he's worthy. I said, because he's worthy. There's not a person in here I don't believe that's a hundred years old. If y'all stay, if y'all stay, the years of promise, three scores and ten, by reason of strength, four scores. This woman has surpassed it all. Now that I take my seat, I want you to stand in salute of what the Lord has done. And give God your best praise you've got left in this room. Come on, give God your best praise. Oh, yeah. Come on, give God your best praise. Come on, magnify him. Come on, magnify him. Come on, give him the glory. Come on, give him the honor. Give him the praise. I remember sitting. I remember sitting, I'm trying to stop clapping. I remember sitting, amen, in Gospel Tabernacle, now called Fish Moore United Holy Church in Durham, North Carolina. They had women in the choir like Mother Austin. Amen. We were little children and uh, you know, if you if you never uh, had your mama to drag you to church. Mama drug us to church. And I'm so glad she did now because as we were set there. I would hear a man, mother by the name of Ethelene uh, and, and Ethelene Allen, and she would bet out in soprano a song that I'm reminded of. And the song just simply said, My hope is built <laughs> on nothing less than Jesus' blood and his righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but holy lean. On Jesus' name, y'all help me finish. On Christ, the solid rock, I stand. All other ground.
but everyone stand.
How you doing? How you 